the young men fighting. Look at your women crying. Look at your young men dying the way they've always done So sing a song for peace, don't whisper a prayer. Better to cry aloud a song for peace. Raise your eyes and look ahead with hope. Don't say the day will come, make it happen now. It's not a dream when in all quarters the praise for peace will sound. So sing a song for peace, don't whisper a prayer. Better to cry aloud a song for peace.
I have the text from the last three hours, sir. How many? Uh, 6,843. <sighs> I don't think it was such a good idea to start taking texts. <sighs> All right, lay it on me. Okay, the U.S. Midwest. 3,012 iPads, 2,052 uh, MacBook Airs, and 2,012 flat-screen TVs. Good grief! Whatever happened to bikes and puppies? Uh, bikes, bikes, let's see, uh, uh bikes. 63 bikes. Ralph. And, uh, uh, 48 puppies. Uh, that's just the U.S. Midwest, of course. Ralph. Yeah? You ever wonder what the point is? Sir? What the point is? Of? This! All oh, this! The point, sir? What? Christmas. Christmas, I would say, is the point. But why give everyone all of this stuff? What is the point? How much eggnog have you had? Ah, I'm just saying. Does giving all this stuff really make a difference to anyone? Uh, sir, at the risk of overstepping my place, let me just say that uh, Santa Claus and his uh, bag of toys for all girls and boys is uh, sort of... Well, it's pretty central to the season. I mean, can you imagine what Christmas would look like without presents from Santa? Hmm. I wonder, what would it look like? What are these? Oh, uh, 3D glasses. Go watch the new 3D Blu-ray movie. Oh, <laughs> of which 1,412 people from the Midwest have requested. Huh? I don't get it. <laughs> well, you have to use the glasses to watch the movie. And then, it's like you're watching real life. Oh, like watching real life. I see. 2D is so 2005. 3D is the future. Pretty soon, everything's going to be 3D. <laughs> Ralph! Uh, sir, we better... Ralph, I have an idea! Sir? Toss that list. We don't need it this year. I've got something better. Better than an iPad? A million times better! I'm going to give the people the gift of seeing. Uh, come again? They want to see in 3D, right? Yeah, movies, not life. Well, I'm going to give them 3D vision for life. Better than 3D. Is there such a thing as 4D? Uh, sir, I really think... Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Ralphie, harness up the sleigh. This is going to be the best Christmas ever! Whatever you say, sir. But listen, if you get into any trouble or ever need any help, just text me, okay? Text you? How am I supposed to do that? <sighs> sir, you really have to stop living in the 18th century. Come on, I'll show you on the way to the sleigh.
Just once, just once, could we have a family holiday without all the drama? Why does she always have to ruin everything? Sam, Janet, calm down. And Sam, get back here. There's no need to act that way. You should be more like... Who? Who should I be more like this time? Tom? Ben? Anybody but me, right? Santa. I mean the real Santa. I don't know how I know it, but I do, and you're here in my room. I mean, look at you. <laughs> look at you. Yeah, look at me. What a mess. What are you talking about? You're still the same wonderful, beautiful Samantha, beautiful Samantha I've always known. Not really. Not the same at all. Really? Come on. Take a look in the mirror. What do you see? A mess. Then I don't think you're really looking then. What? I'm looking, I'm looking. It's just, it's ugly, a failure. Shall I go on? Do you remember the first time you recognized your own reflection? Um, no. <laughs> I suppose not. You were barely a year old. You looked and saw yourself, and for the first time it dawned on you that that person looking back at you was you! Ha ha ha! Big discovery! And you know what you did next? You walked up to the mirror, got in real close, and kissed the mirror. I did? <laughs> Why? Because all babies kiss mirrors! They do? Hmm. Really? Why? Hmm. Because before they know any better, when they look at themselves, they look with love. Unconditional love. They see themselves as perfect, just as they are. When do we stop doing that? When we start to see only what is wrong. Sam, do me a favor. Look again. Take your time. Now what do you see? It's my scar. My scar, I got it when I was seven years old. 
It was Christmas Eve. I got a rocket. It was so cool. <laughs> I remember. Oh, yeah, you would. <sighs> I really loved that rocket. I wanted to be an astronaut back then, and I was just running it around and around the living room, and my mom wanted me to wait until t the next day to take it outside, but I just couldn't. So I took it out to the garage. <laughs> Didn't turn out so well? <laughs> No, it was awesome. What happened to that little girl? What are you talking about, Sam? She's right there. Yeah, you're right. There she is. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> so, good gift then? It was a great gift. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Sam. Merry Christmas, Santa. Oh, by the way, could you help me send a text on this thing? <laughs> sure, what do you want it to say? To Ralph, ha, I told you so. A child's world is fresh and new and beautiful, full of wonder and excitement. It is our misfortune that for most of us, that clear-eyed view, that insight as to what is beautiful and awe-inspiring is dim and even lost before we reach adulthood.
I'm home. Finally, I could use some help in here. Dad. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, do you want to play go fish? Uh, sorry, Joey. I, I can't right now. Mom needs help. Okay. Dom. Oh. Okay. Hey, Dad. Hey, bud. Oh, hey, Nick. Do you want to play go fish? Hey, Nick. Do you want to play go fish? Huh? I said, do you want to play go fish? Jeez, dude, you don't have to yell. No, I don't want to play go fish. What am I, ten? Okay. Joey, have you seen Hannah? No. If you do, tell her I need her. Okay. Hey, Mom, do you wanna? Did you read that article in 17? I have it right here, just a second. Oh, Hannah, do you wanna play Go Fish? No, I'm still mad at you. Oh, I said I was sorry. You're a mean, bossy, unbearable fish face. Hannah, get in here and set the table. Mom, Hannah's home. You people are driving me crazy! Well, Dad, do you wanna? Not now, bud. Nick, are you sure you don't wanna? No. So, you wanna play goldfish? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Oh, wow. Hi. Uh, hey, everybody. Santa Claus is here. Seriously, he's here on the couch. Joey, for Pete's sake, keep it down. And Hannah, get off your phone. <laughs> your shuffling's coming along. Well, I've been practicing. <laughs> I know. Can I ask you a question? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't you usually come down the chimney uh, at night and bring stuff? Yeah, we're trying something new this year. Cool. I wish everyone would come in and see you. <laughs> that can be arranged. On father, on mother, on Hannah and Nick. Ho, 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 ho. What, Joey? Joey, who said oh. that? What? <laughs> Guys, look who's here. Wow. Hello, Nichols family. I don't understand. Is this a joke? Not at all. Special delivery this year. Your present. What is it? First, we all have to sit down. Okay, here's the deal. We're going to sit here a minute. And do what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Weird. I've got something in the oven. I've got a report to finish. Oh, it'll just take a minute. Please, go ahead. Take your time. What do you see? Hannah's eyes are really blue. Just like Dad's. Joey, she looks so much like her mom. When did you get so big? I see my son growing up so fast. I see my girls, so beautiful. Joey, you're not a fish face. Joey. What do you see? Oh, Dad looks tired. And Mom, she looks sad. Actually, I see a little sadness in Dad, too. And Hannah. Kind of lonely. But how can we be lonely when there are so many of us? Hannah, before we can keep each other company, we have to see each other. 
But we see each other every day. No. Like this. Take time and look. I guess we haven't been very good about that lately. Thank you, Santa. My pleasure. All in a night's work. Thank you. I think there's just one more thing we have to do here. Joey? Yeah? Want to play go fish? Yeah! Uh, uh, technology, uh, oh, uh, sorry, go fish. <laughs>
All right, boys, party's over and lights out in a half hour. You'll be up and on patrol at 0600 in the morning. There's no Christmas in the Army. Yes? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Very funny. Who's in there? I told you guys to knock it off. Lose the beard, soldier. Drop and give me 50. It's me, Santa Claus. Yeah, right. Ouch. Huh. Guts real. Can't be a soldier. The only ones in the army that can afford to be that fat are the generals. At ease, Lieutenant, at ease. I'm no general. Well, if you're not a general, then you're either a really fat, white-bearded guy in the middle of nowhere, dressed for a really bad practical joke, or... Or? Or nothing. What can I help you with? What can I help you with? What do you mean? <laughs> Looks like you have a tough job here. <laughs> oh. That look... We've got an entirely new platoon here. They just came in. They're green. They don't know what they're in for. My job is to make them see. See? See what the deal is here, you know? What is the deal here? What's the deal? Well, it's simple. It's war. It's us against them. We win, they lose. These kids come out here and think they're going to change the world or something. I got to show them how it is. They act like kids. They need to act like soldiers. It's simple, really. Take a look out the window. That's the enemy. Danger all around. One bad move, one wrong decision, and it's over. I was right. Sounds like a tough job. I guess. You do what you gotta do. So, what do you see out there? What do you mean? What do you see there? I see the enemy. I see blind corners and hiding places. I see places to plant bombs. I see every single danger they taught us about in training. <laughs> yes, that's all there. But do you see anything else? 
Look, take your time. Well, there's kids over there playing there by the wall. Two boys. <laughs> Looks like they're about the age of mine. I see a family. They're in the house by the base. Looks like they're at the dinner table. Looks like they're praying. Anything else? Wow. I see the stars. <laughs> Never noticed it here before. The sky here. <laughs> it's incredible. I haven't seen stars like that since I was a kid back in Wisconsin. I used to look up there all the time with my dad. That father there, look. He came outside. He's pointing up to the stars. He's probably telling about the constellations. I wonder if they named the constellations here. <laughs> you know their names? I used to. I guess it's been a long time since I looked up there. But wait a second. What do you see now? Well, that's one of my soldiers, Johnson, walking up to the house. What's he holding? Looks like Christmas presents. Presents? <laughs> He's always bringing little gifts to that family. Food, clothing, toys and games for the kids. All bought with his own money. And his buddies, too. Your men. Many of them have families of their own back home. You know they were wrapping Christmas presents at the party that you broke up. They adopted that family. Visit them every chance they get. Didn't you know any of this? Guess there's more to see here than you first thought. It's... It's complicated. Why? Seeing what's here, I mean really seeing it, it gets complicated. So you said. Johnson! Report to my office! Immediately! So I guess you're here because it's Christmas. Whoever you are. There is no Christmas in the army. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Reporting his orders, sir! Attention, soldier! Do you know this man, soldier? Uh, it... Yes, sir! So he looks familiar to you then, huh? Is this a joke, sir? No, it's no joke, Johnson! Would I be correct to assume that you were one of those who initiated the Christmas party this evening? You would be correct, sir! And the presents from the family that lives next door to the base? Yes, sir. It, it won't happen again. Is that right? Johnson, how old are you? N Nineteen, sir! Where are you from? Wisconsin, sir. You don't say. Tell me, Johnson. Have you ever looked up at the stars before? All the time, sir. First Christmas away from home? Yes, sir. Johnson. He, 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 he. Yes, sir. I want you to take the tree. And here. Take this for the family next door. I have children, too. Y yes, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas, Johnson. You're dismissed. M Merry Christmas, sir. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mike. Look, I don't know what you're up to here, but making one lieutenant in one troop, in one post, in one lousy war realize that things are complicated isn't going to change anything. I suppose you're right. Of course, I have a lot more stops to make.
teach me how to Santa? Teach me how to Santa, teach me, teach me how to Santa. Teach me how to Santa, teach me, teach me how to Santa. Oh, my reindeer love me, oh, my, oh, my reindeer love me. Oh, my reindeer love me, you ain't messing with my Santa. Teach me how to Santa, teach me, teach me how to Santa. Teach me how to Santa, teach me, teach me how to Santa. Oh, my reindeer love me, oh, my, oh, my reindeer love me. Oh, my reindeer love me, you ain't messing with my Santa. has been for a long, long time. This is the 25th Holiday Classics program. I, I only have known of it for the last seven. Uh, it began under the direction of Jim Hikes and Debbie Lind at West High School and was brought with them here. And for years and years, um, entertaining, we hope, and uplifting, we hope, and also sharing something maybe a little bit deeper and uh, meaningful, especially this time of year, things to remember. And today, everything centered around this idea of opening our eyes to the things that are most important, these relationships and the things that are there every day that we maybe walk by too often without really seeing. So we'll continue this journey tonight. We're, we're very, very glad you could take the time. And we, we are so unique fortunate in this school. This is the fifth auditorium full of people that we've shared this concert with. And there's two more. And what a, what a privilege. And it's not like this everywhere. I say that often when I'm up here, but it really is that we don't take it for granted. And uh, what wonderful support and tradition here. And um, humbly, we offer the last part. Now my mom always asks, as soon as she asks about the concert, about the third question is, how long is it? <laughs> she's coming later this evening, and I haven't told her yet, and, it's a and she has an hour and a half. She says, don't go any longer than an hour and a half. <laughs> For 30 years, she told my father the same thing as he was putting his concerts, his choir concerts together. So I'll 
we'll, we won't tell her till it's it's uh, her turn. But we're going to go a little over, but we have a lot to share with you, and we hope you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, we need a little rest, so it's your turn. Uh, Silver bells. If the words are in your program, yes, you need to sing. It'll help uh, wake you up. You're going to have to sit a little taller now over here in this section. Make sure you can support yourself. Here we go.
sky, traced out by city lights, my world from a mile high, best seat in the house tonight, touch down on the core black top, hold on for the sudden stop, breathe in the familiar shock of confusion and chaos, all those people going somewhere, why have I never
on a busy street See a girl in dark as me She does her best to smile at me To hide what's underneath And there's a man just to her right In black suit and a bright red tie He's too ashamed to tell his wife He's out of work, he's buying time All those people are going somewhere Give me your arms for the broken hearted, the ones that are far beyond my reach. Give me your heart for the ones forgotten. Give me your eyes so I can see. Give me your eyes for just one second. Give me your eyes so I can see. Everything that I can listen. Give me your love for humanity. Give me your arms for the broken hearted, the ones that are far beyond my reach. Give me your heart for the ones forgotten. The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones forgotten Give me your eyes so I can see Ralphie, we did it! You did, sir, you did. The gift of seeing. Who would have thought? <laughs> the only gift they really needed. Awesome. I have to admit, you did give them something better than 3D. <laughs> this calls for a toast. I'll get the eggnog. Yes, sir, Ralphie. Best Christmas ever. How many stops was it? Almost a trillion this year, sir. Oh, no wonder I'm so tired. Um, sir, we got some texts. Text! Quite a few, actually. Text on December 26th? We never get texts on December 26th. What do they say? Thank you. They all say thank you. You're kidding. Read me one. Dear Santa, Thanks for the best Christmas ever. I talked to my mom for the first time in 10 years. 
Dear Santa, thanks for everything you did for us this year. We feel like a new family. Dear Santa, I can't believe I couldn't see all the hurt I've been causing everybody. You helped me start to change. Well, I'll be one. Dear Santa, the other kids stopped teasing me. Thanks. Dear Santa, I thought my life had been one big mischance. Thanks for showing me what I've had all along. Shall I go on? Yes, go on. But first, a toast. To Christmas 2010. To Christmas 2010, sir. And you know what, Ralphie? I think this is the start of a beautiful 2011. Can you see it? Yes, sir. And I think they can, too. Read on, Ralphie. Read on. Dear Santa, thanks for helping Dad. He's not so sad anymore and started looking for another job. Dear Santa, just wanted you to know how much things have changed around here. We really feel like a new family.